Hello everyone, I'm Tiff Rayner and welcome to the world of light music. Yes, hello everyone and welcome to the world of light music. On today's program we're going to hear some more from the old theatre and cinema orchestras that flourished during the silent film days and beyond, as well as groups including David Rose and his orchestra, Leroy Anderson, Percy Faith, and if we have time, a vintage vocal or two. But first to the Adelphi Theatre Orchestra, conducted by Francis Collinson. This old theatre orchestra branched into the recording industry after the finish of silent films and recorded some great music, like this selection of tunes from the show Home and Beauty, cut for Columbia back in 1937. This music was issued on a double-sided 12-inch standard disc. Here now is that music. Thank you. 
Well, there was some sound from the past. The old Adelphi Theatre Orchestra conducted by Francis Collinson and that music recorded way back in the 1930s. Let's open up the production music catalogues for our next recording and choose a fast-moving piece of show-type music. Here's one called Sport and Music, recorded back in 1951 for the Bosworth Publishing Company by Louis Voss and his orchestra. for a fast-moving piece of production music. Sport and Music, recorded in 1951 for Bosworth by Louis Voss and his orchestra. You're listening to The World of Light Music and I'm Tiff Rayner. Joan is a sweet little piece of light orchestral music written many long years ago by Walter Scharf. This music was recorded for the Jubilee label back in 1957 by Walter Scharf and his orchestra.
What a sweet little piece of music. Joan. Joan was played by Walter Scharf and his orchestra and the recording made back in 1957. You're listening to the world of light music. How about an orchestral march straight from the pages of the Mood Music catalogues? Royal Standard was composed by Archibald Joyce in the 30s and picked up by the Bosworth Publishing Company who commissioned the West End Celebrity Orchestra to record the music for their production music listings. This regal sounding music was used over and over again to back newsreel and radio production during the decades during and after the war. Standard, composed by Archibald Joyce and played there by the West End Celebrity Orchestra. Here's a little piece of light orchestral music that could have come from the pages of the Mood Music catalogues also. The Dancing Cane was composed by David Rose and recorded by David Rose and his orchestra for MGM back in 1954. <laughs>
That was The Dancing Cane, composed by David Rose and played by David Rose and his orchestra. You're listening to The World of Light Music. Albert Cattelby was a great composer of light music. Compositions like In a Persian Market and In a Monastery Garden are amongst his well-known pieces, but not so this little piece of mood music composed by Cattelby for the Bosworth Library called Mayfair Cinderella. This music was recorded for Bosworth by the London Concert Orchestra in Music of Albert Cattelby and Mayfair Cinderella, a not so well known piece of Cattelby's works, uh, unlike in a monastery garden and others. That was played by the London Concert Orchestra and the recording made back in 1944. Leroy Anderson composed some great light orchestral music during his long and very successful career. Lots of little tunes that lingered in your mind after you'd heard them. Forgotten Dreams is one of my favourite Leroy Anderson compositions and is played for us today by Leroy Anderson and his Pops Concert Orchestra, recorded back in 1955.
Leroy Anderson and his Pops Concert Orchestra there, an old recording made in 1955 of Forgotten Dreams. That's all we've time for today. Thank you for your company over the past 30 minutes, and I'll be back again for more from the world of light music. The World of Light Music is produced and presented each week by Tiff Rayner for Melbourne's Golden Days Radio, 95.7 FM.